What's good? It is the O Show, uh, kicking things off a little bit early today. Mostly because I was itching to return to the zone. But partially because University of Kentucky plays Kansas. And I might go watch that at the local kebabs place. So we'll have to see. <laughs> that uh, game starts at 6 p.m. So if I wind up deciding to go, probably be a short stream today. But believe it or not, I enjoy streaming Stalker so much that I might actually do that instead of watching college basketball. I am uh, wearing my UK pajama pants though, so it counts for something. Hope you guys are having a lovely Tuesday. I've had a great one. Nice productive morning. But I'm like addicted to Stalker, I don't know what it is. I think it's the adrenaline rush. Because of how fucking scary the game is, to be to be frank. Speaking of, let's get the soccer rolling. Now I might do some supreme dicking around here at the start. Kind of want to check out some of the PDA entries and things. We've kind of rushed through the game a bit. Let's we'll slow down the pace some. If you're new to the playthrough, it's a uh, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl on Master difficulty with Stalker Complete installed, which is a mod that improves the graphical quality, fixes a lot of bugs. It's a lot like how I usually mod Elder Scrolls games. It doesn't really change the gameplay, just fixes shit and makes it prettier. Uh, but if you run exclamation point stalker in the chat, you can get a link as well to uh, the stalker lost alpha. Which is uh, pretty cool if you've like played stalker a few times and want to try something new. It came out in April of this year and it's essentially the game that this game was Shadow of Chernobyl before a lot of the features had to get cut. Because in 2007, they weren't very feasible. Whereas, you know, here in 2014, we can make it happen. <clears throat> now, I think I may go ahead and officially join Freedom. Because they're friendly to me anyway. Uh, however, if I do that, that's going to kind of limit my access to everything back here. Which is honestly okay. But that means I'm going to be ditching the majority of the side quests and heading forward with the main story which I could be down with I think I'm down with that I do want to try out uh, this fight here see if I can help the stalkers uh, but aside from that I'm down to push forward on the main quest a lot of these side quests don't have very good rewards anyway Uh, but I did want to like show off a little bit of this type of stuff because we've looked at it briefly, but not so much. And since we're moving toward the end game, I'd like to take a look at it, especially because a lot of you guys have had questions about the lore and that sort of thing. <clears throat> There's tons and tons of stuff to like read if you want to check it out on your own time. I won't like totally bore you with it. Uh, but you do get information about everything. 
explanations of each type of anomaly and the name of it. Which are essentially like radioactive reality distortions in the zone. Uh, you get all the factions, so freedom, I like freedom. Anarchists and da daredevils who declare themselves fighters for free access to the zone and consequently find themselves in constant conflict with the army, military stalkers, and the duty faction. These so-called so freedom warriors believe in sharing all information about the zone with the rest of the world and challenge the state's monopoly over the zone's secrets and wonders. See, I like freedom, so I'm going to join freedom. Monolith are the guys that are like Necron. This group displays many features of a religious sect. Its members believe in the existence of a complex alien crystal, the monolith, located somewhere in the center of the zone. Most stalkers treat monolith adepts with contempt and consider them lunatics. From its inception, the group has striven to block all progress towards the center of the zone, protecting the monolith from other stalkers. Rumor has it that the group has a large base deep in the zone, but its exact location is known only to the members. <clears throat> Some pretty spooky stuff there. Um, and there's even stalker mods that let you like join monolith and crazy shit like that, so... Uh, this is mostly kind of peripheral explanations to the storyline so far. Uh, this is kind of cool. The mutants we've encountered, like everyone's favorite, the Bloodsucker. I actually was so scared of one of these last night, I sang a song to it. I'm going to make a highlight of it, but I sang a little song. It was fucking hilarious. Uh, this one is actually the one that scares the shit out of me the most. Like BDSM gone wrong. Uh, then you get all the different types of artifacts we found, and there's a shitload. These are the the little guys that form near anomalies and give you various powers. Like Soul's a good one. <clears throat> all the locations we found so far. And then some of you guys are asking about the history of the zone, so. This kind of explains it. So in 2008, the contaminated zone was aglow with the brightest of lights, almost unbearable to the human eye. You could virtually see the clouds in the sky turning into vapor. After a moment of dead silence, there came rattling thunder and then the earth shook. People fell to the ground, screwing up their eyes and covering their ears. Those who could still stand ran for their lives. It looked as though all the nuclear fuel buried under the sarcophagus had suddenly exploded. The next day, the army cordoned off the new zone. The satellites helped to establish what the epicenter of the explosion was, not actually in the vicinity of the NPP reactors, but about half a kilometer away. It is still believed that the personnel of the station died at once, though many people still remained within the cordoned area. The rescue operation soon proved a pointless endeavor, as all the people and machinery sent deep into the area would die or malfunction immediately. A little while after the disaster, to the, z the zone diameter hopped out by a few more kilometers. Most of the government troops guarding the borderline and the research team stationed there perished instantly. Panic-stricken, people took to flight. The residents of nearby towns and villages were hastily evacuated. An enormous danger is looming over the world. We can only guess what its full impact may be. So that's the origin of the zone. It's essentially the Chernobyl incident area expanded in 2008 in the Stalker universe. Grab a drink of water here. Medithian says, I need to get at least one Moonlight whenever I play. Yeah, definitely. I've got one, too. Cha-ching. That Endurance. I'd like to have another one. I'm kind of holding that slot for it. Um, so I'm relatively geared. So I'm thinking what I'd like to actually do. Because <clears throat> uh, Medithian also brought up a good point. The bar gets really pitsy if you join freedom. I'm not going to officially join them yet, so I can go to the bar and tell if they're already pissy. If they're already pissy, fuck it. We join it. If they're not pissy, alright. So I think the plan right now is going to be try to help these dudes out, 
pick up these stashes in the uh, wilds area, or sorry, the army warehouses, and then um, from there head to the bar and see if they're currently in a pissy phase with us. <clears throat> Ulick, what's good, man? Oh man, I'm kind of hype about this University of Kentucky game tonight, uh, kind of their first big one of the season. <clears throat> They're playing uh, Kansas University, but I literally love streaming so much that I might skip watching the game just to keep streaming. Wouldn't that be adorable? I want to go up there and scope it out. Am I allowed to do that? Freedom's like friendly with me now, so I think I can. Which of you guys chilling on the infinite couch are playing uh, Far Cry 4? Shit looks great, man. Auto drive? Pretty funny. But other than that... <laughs> Far Cry 4 looks great, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys love to push me around. It's very rude. Can I see the fight from here? See what's going on? Or not? Nah? Doesn't look like... I think it loads in when I get close to it, to be honest. Starting a little early today, I see. Says pizza roll. Yes, sir. Um, I said I would, so I am. But it's also because... There's a Kentucky basketball game tonight. And I might slip off and go watch that. Or I might stream through it. I haven't decided yet. But I'm wearing my Kentucky pajama pants either way. Love how the freedom base is laid out. My stash, by the way, the one I'm using is right down here. That box. Right now I've got my grenade launcher in there. Um, what's cool is with Stalker Complete, once I've completed the game, I can still play. Um, so I'm going to keep my save game and whenever we're kind of bored and want to run around and do stuff, uh, I can run around and like, you know, find cool weapons and shit. Um, to add to the stash there and that type of thing. So you can still continue to play Stalker after you beat the game. It's pretty hype. Alright, so uh, let's head down to that fight, see what happens. I'm using a weapon that I've never really um, fucked around with before. I'm kind of enjoying it. It's the... M4 alike, basically. The ZM LR300 ML, you see. But it's a unique one that's modified to be a sniper. Like, uh. It's quite nice for getting headshots. It handles a bit like a scout in CS. Um, and I've put a silencer on it, which is nice. Um, and then I've got a 45 caliber Desert Eagle. 
I'm using hollow points in that for killing mutants. Those are great tips someone in the chat gave me. I got a silencer on that bad boy too. And if you want to see my other shit real quick while we're here. Got a spring. Just for funds. Uh, reduces bleeding. Increases health. Increases endurance. And then I got a slot open. Are we chilling? In my suit. I think this is my favorite suit. It's the militarized scientist suit. It's kind of the best of both worlds. And it's got really good night vision too. But it's not very tough. Like if I get shot, it's a problem. The only other real option I can think of would be what this guy's wearing. The exoskeleton. Uh, but it impedes your movement. I think you can carry a ton with it though. So it still might be an option. I don't know. Let's take a look at me. I look hilarious. Like, <laughs> hello guys, I'm coming to the zone and I'd like to study some creatures. <laughs> but that's okay. Midithian says you might want to check out the other stalker games. Maybe. Uh, maybe. I do have Metro 2033 though, so I will be playing through that, but the budget's kind of limited these days, so I don't know if I'm going to be picking up the other Stalker games, but I already have Metro 2033. That was actually a gift from someone on the stream, so. Alright, so let's go and see what's going on in this bandit fight up here, I reckon. Let me at them. Where are they, guys? Where are these bandits? I'll kill them. Where are they? I'm here to help, comrades. Why did you guys drop dead? Rip, man. Take that. Nice one, bud. Nice one. I mean, it's a pity and all, but... So wait. Take, let me track this quest and see what the fuck. Protect the stalker is an agroprom. They look pretty relaxed, man. Is there more protecting I need to do? Okay, we got more protecting to do. Like, what's up? Who must I kill to satiate this quest? That's the true question. I'm not too worried about it. Curious. These guys are chill, right? Good. Problems? All right, we'll chill here for a bit, see what we can do about this quest, and, but I'm not going to stress about it too much. You can hang out with them a bit, enjoy the area. These guys are, like, ready for battle. Like, I feel safe with these guys here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to point it at you. My bad. Uh-oh. Gotta fight. The fight I was looking for, baby. Yes, scum. 
Yay, I did it! <laughs> I had to kill one guy. Awesome. Yeah, that's the easiest quest I've ever done, man. Nice. Where's that guy headshotted? Did he slide down the hill, probably? Alright, let's look for this guy's body real fast. <laughs> that was hilarious. Headshot one guy. You did it! Good job, kid. Thanks. Um, There he is. Damn, that's a pretty far shot. I'll be taking that grenade, though. And the sambo. Thanks. Alright. Alright. Got that done. Now we're the king. Let me grab a drink of water, man. I got crazy cotton mouth. Wiki, how's it going? What's good? What's good, everybody? Chilling on the infinite couch. It is the Osho continuing the Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl playthrough on uh, Master Difficulty with Stalker Complete 2009. So where does that one turn in at? Oh, cool. That one turns in at the Freedom. Alright, but uh, my mission here was to head to the bar and see if they want to kill me already. But took care of a mission. Now let's check into these stashes here on the way. Might as well, right? And that one's in the Bloodsucker Village. Ooh wee. Uh-oh. Is there a fucking controller in the village? Tell me there's not a controller chilling out in here. Nobody likes that, man. I'm sure there's like 90 bloodsuckers and stuff. You know, I don't really care. That's pretty crazy if there's a controller chilling in this village now though. I'll kinda shit myself. Can you tell me about the stash though? Alright, let me get farther away so that I can get the uh, icon. Now can I see? Please. Into a pipe. Okay. So we're looking for a secret stash and a pipe. While a controller fucks with our brain. That's lovely. Yeah, that's truly lovely. It's very kind of this controller to be living here and, you know, messing with innocent stalkers' minds. Very kind. It, did he stop? Did he get killed? Yo, that controller, whatever that was, stopped. So either that was like an ambient effect because of where I am at the main story, or the controller got iced. Either way, I consider it a victory. Who says, I need more people who play CSGO on my friends list. I agree, man. This poor guy is asking me every day. We got to get a CSGO crew going, man, you know? 
тебя непонятно. Хороший повод уйти, хороший повод уйти. But I, I enjoy CSGO, I just need to play more myself. Um... Alright, so, near that cross, we're good. Thank god I have this awesome suit. Damn. Lost his stash. Ah, oh, you just like use it. We're selling. We're selling. Look at that little flesh over there. I think fleshes are cute, man. You guys might think I'm a freak, but I think fleshes are adorable as hell. All right. If I could just slip over to this furnace and hit the stash without getting into this fight. <laughs> do, do, do. I'm just trying to loot, guys. Don't worry about me. Man, I love this game. Love all the ambient shit happening. Right now in the storyline, essentially what's going down is uh, all the... All the biggest badasses of the various factions are trying to get to the center of the zone. Which I just opened up by turning off the Brain Scorcher. So I've made that possible in game. And it's cool because the area with the Brain Scorcher prior to turning it off has a... Uh... Ooh, I like that gun. I'm gonna grab this to put in my stash. But anyway, prior to uh... you turning it off, it has like all this f the, the sky's fucked up and there's psionic emissions which are like hallucinations and there's uh... this blue lightning that's like sparking off these antennas in the sky it's very fucked up uh... but then once you turn off the brain scorcher all that goes away so it's pretty cool how there's like a effect on the actual area alright i gotta do the move away trick here too I can take a look. What does it say? In the furnace. The fuck? The furnace? Like the furnace inside the house? That's what it looks like. I completely avoided getting into that fight. I was just like, I'm cool. Just looting buddies. Oh, like up here? Is that what it means? Must be. Do I gotta blow this up or some shit? I think so. I think I gotta knife this. Or something. What the fuck? How do I move this? There's got to be an easier way. It looks like it's, yeah, there's an area in there to get to. Hmm. How do I blow this up? Intermittently, my, my attacks, like, I can even see the stuff inside of there. I'm considering throwing a grenade, like, right here. <laughs> to see if it'll blow it up. What's even in there? Nothing that fancy, right? This looks like vodka. You know, fuck you, stash. I don't even care. I'm 
wonder what the hell's going on with these dudes. Uh, anybody I can loot, brothers? I grabbed one of those rifles already. I want to add that to my stash with the grenade launcher because that's another weapon I found that looks pretty good. Oh, we got bad guys. Oh, we had bad guys. Now we're good. Here you go. We'll help out Zinya, big fella. We're good guys. See? Look, now he's our friend forever. Perfect. What did these other poor brothers lost here? Take his baguette. The plies of the leader of freedom. That sounds like an awful nice uh, stash to loot up. I'm gonna be honest. These guys are expert anomaly avoiders. Look at that. The guy's like right next to one. He had to like hop over this to get to where he was at. I don't even know how he got there without dying. That must be what killed him. <laughs> Death via anomaly. Ow. Ow. Ouchie. That was painful. Good thing I have the best suit in North America. The militarized. Scientist suit. Oh shit. Sick nade. Sick nade, bruh. There you go. Oh, I think I killed him. Yeah, I got him. Rip. Okay. So we got a stash hidden in a log up here. God, I love the suit. It's like anomalies, radiation, nah. Ooh, it's all stuff I like, yay. Alright, I'm gonna take one last look at that uh, stash in the furnace. Damn, dude, I gotta like bolt this shit. They should make a suit that's like a hundred percent anomaly proof, but like no bulletproof protection. So you just like put on that full anti-anomaly suit and just haul ass. Dodging bullets, you know, serpentine. I'd wear it. Especially if they made it look like a track suit. They're just like, oh yeah, I'm running. Hold up one moment, I think my chatty is misbehaving. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, what's good everybody getting cozy on the infinite couch, man? The O Show is back with some more stalker. We got started a little bit early today. Uh, cause I might duck out to go watch the Kentucky basketball game. I haven't decided yet. So I can see items in there, so it looks like that's the stash. See? 
But I don't know how to get the things. Mazel says it might be from the other side. I'll take a look. Hmm. Methinks not. Methinks you just have to move this out of the way. Uh, but there's nothing too fancy in there. Just vodka and grenades. It's a good Russian stash, you know? Alright, so the next move is going to be to head over to uh, the bar and see our status. If we're like kill on site, then that's going to kind of change the plan a bit. If we're not kill on site, we might do some stuff. Is that a little fleshy that died in the anomaly? Oh man, poor little guy. I think fleshes are adorable, dude. Real talk. Medithian says, I wonder how do you get to that shit? Referring to that stash back there. I bet you blow up the little pallet that's covering it with some kind of explosive to be honest I bet that's what you do alright well we're actually yeah we'll see if they hate us at the bar man see if they hate us Because they have helped freedom out a little bit, so they might not like us at the bar. Let's see how they feel about the old marked one. They're aggro. <laughs> okay. Well. Guys, I don't know that we're going to be uh, doing too much stuff at the bar. I have to be honest. Hold up. It says there's a stash right here. There it is. Alright, so uh, they're aggro to us at the bar, so I think we're going to advance the plot then, in that case. <laughs> Later. Haters. Uru says, speaking of Kentucky, AD will be playing DC tonight. Man, I know. That's why I'm thinking about cutting the stream and going over, grabbing a kebab, and uh, watching the game. But I actually really love streaming, so I might just stream instead. Uh, but like I said earlier, I've got my UK pajama pants on either way, so, so we're good either way. Oops, wrong way. All right, so that kind of decides things for me. Um, I'm not really gonna bother to futz around. Uh, we're kind of in the end game here, uh, so I'm essentially gonna move through the red forest into Pripyat. We're gonna hit up good old Pripyat and hit the secret stash there. Beautiful. Uh, so let's do a quick stop by the Freedom Base, then we'll get out of here. That 
That's a scumbag, I reckon. He's a bad guy. Probably can just slip by him though. He seems dumb. Yeah, yeah. You're a cool anomaly. You did stuff to me. <laughs> the hitching that you see, by the way, that is a known thing in Stalker Complete. Do be advised. If you set up Stalker Complete, uh, your shit's gonna hitch from time to time. As it's loading the HD textures, so don't be alarmed. It's all good. <laughs> These freedom guys are cool. They like bolts and stuff. They're, you know, they're laid back. I like them. Alright man, Pripyat should be a trip. Love how there's a dude sleeping in here 24-7. Alright, so I want to put that in there too. I'm going to go ahead and stick the scope as well. Okay, I think we're chilling there. <laughs> then, uh, did I have one? They gave me endurance. Yeah, dude, I'll take the extra endurance, even though it's just a sparkler. Fuck it. So actually, that's 73 versus 36. Yeah, let's do the flash instead. Right. A little extra endurance, never hurt anybody. Alright, got a couple things to sell here. A little extra endurance, never hurt anybody. Wink. Fucking wink. Wish I could just take this uh, armored personnel carrier into Pripyat, you know? Someone told me that, uh, I think the VSS is hidden somewhere in the Freedom Base, didn't it? I don't think I really... I don't know, I kinda want it. Is there a VSS hidden in here somewhere? There are cute little Ventoras hiding around here somewhere. Those are just turds. Yeah. Okay. One of the barracks has a Ventoras? Uh, you mean in the Freedom Base? We'll take a little tour here before we head to Pripyat. We're not in a hurry. It's a beautiful day in the fucking zone, you know? Well, feel free if you want to use Google Foo to, t to take a look and see if there's anything in the Freedom Base I might want to grab. Because Pripyat's gonna, like, stick it to us. Nice, neat, orderly <laughs> barracks, but you know, freedom doesn't give a shit.
nada. Checking like under beds too. I think if you hold F, it'll show you any items in the world. In the Freedom Base, Eastrum Barracks on the floor. So, the barrack I'm about to head into. Okay. BSS. Daddy's here. I don't remember what ammo you use, so... I might, might not use you. Oh, there you are. There you are, little baby. Ooh, you can. There's a stash here too. Nice. But I kind of like the one out by the fire that I have. It's you know, it's like more social. What do you shoot? Damn, you shoot that weird sniper shit. Let me hold you in my hands a little. It's quite a nice weapon. Let's... Oh, I love this gun. Let's see if I can buy ammo for this gun, okay? Okay, guys. Let's see if I can buy ammo for this gun, because I love it. It's just really good. It's like my favorite gun, okay? If I can buy ammo for this gun, it's game over. I think I'm gonna, well, I'll keep this little custom sniper deal. It's pretty cool. Uh, but uh, I might not even be using this if I can't buy that ammo. I, I would rather use something I can buy ammo for, so let's go take a look at the shop before we do that. Skinflint seems to be selling a variety of ammo now, so... Ugh, it doesn't look like he sells that shit, though. Damn, it's a tough choice. Is there a vendor that sells... the ammo for this weapon? Because if there's not, I'm probably not going to use it for now. Because the ammo for what I have is so much more abundant. I almost always use the VSS, so I'm kind of tempted to sell it. Just to force myself to like switch it up, you know? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to sell it. Or not sell it, but not, you know, use it. Force myself to switch it up. Unless someone does know a vendor that sells this ammo, the uh, nine mil sniper, because then I can just uh, do the safe scum trick. I know. Maybe what I'll do is let me do a save and reload and see if it's possible for this guy to show up with that ammo. And if you don't know what I'm doing, if you save your game and reload it in Stalker, it's pretty scary. Vendors will get a new inventory. Edithian says, I bet the barman sells some just to spite you. I actually know he doesn't, so I know... No, he doesn't. Alright, do you ever sell that ammo? He doesn't. He even sells the shit for the... The Druganov. Which could be pretty hype to use too. It's definitely no Ventores. Man, I don't know. You know what? I think I'm going to run this thing. Why the fuck not, you know? But I will stick the Ventores uh, into my little goodie box. Wait, it's over here. That uh, sniper ammo is really hard to come by. 
I've pretty much got every weapon I want in the game though, except for I don't have an RPG. I failed to get an RPG. Uh, so that would be nice if I come across a, an RPG launcher. Might have to hunt around for that later on. Uh, but I think I think I want to advance the the game here. So let's go to Pripyat and get our asses handed to us. Also, let's go to the Red Forest and get our asses handed to us first, shall we? What time is it in the zone, though? Uh, might want to advance time first. It's like sunset, you know, going over there at night. It's probably unnecessarily spooky. We'll do a little immersion time. And then I'll uh, have my character sleep. And then we'll head to Pripyat. Sounds good to me. Do any of you uh, stalkers in the chat know a good spot to pick up an RPG? I think there's some in Red Forest, aren't there? Watch that sunset. Man, I hope you guys are having a lovely Tuesday. Mine's pretty fucking good. Cannot complain. Yo, it's about to be 420 though. Just so you know. Tetsuo says in Pripyat, I believe, for the RPG. Nice. Yeah, what's good, SS14? How's it going, man? Alright, let's find a safe place to uh, sleeping bag it for a bit, advanced time. I actually think I could just do it right up there. Make sure I eat a bit before I do. night action here. We'll take a look before we sleep some more. 3.30 in the morning. Freedom base at night. Keeping things secure. Pretty nice uh, night imaging on the suit as well. One of the reasons I like it. In dark areas it's handy. Right, let's get a few more hours of shut eye here. Zach asks, where would I send a remix or whatever? You mean to like uh, play his music on the show? Uh, probably the easiest way is to tweet me a link. Or a Twitch private message me a link, and then if it's if it's cool and I like it, I'll uh, use it and I'll credit you in the soundtrack section. 
simple as that. And if it's bad, I'll write you like a really mean message, really like ruthlessly critiquing it. So beware, you know. JF Kraken. Hello yourself, Mike. What's good, everybody? About to get into some heavy duty shit here in uh, Stalker Land, just so you guys know. Hope you guys are ready. I'm running a weapon I've never really used at this part of the game. Yeah. Modified ZM battle rifle. Like a the DMR pretty much. Pretty cool. Kinda like it. I think it's because I've been playing a lot of Arma. And a lot of DMRs and uh Arma. Whoopsie. Yo, come on. Come on. No need for that. See what you, you lose focus for like a second. And the zone has you. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get my uh, headphones to sit on my head comfortably. Not really cooperating. Might have to get a different set. Maybe my fucking ears are too big or something. They like always hurt no matter what I do. Alright, so to even get to Pripyat, we're gonna have to make our way through, uh... Oh, there's a bloodsucker around here. No, not me. What?! There's two bloodsuckers just chilling running around their area? Damn. Brutal. Let's try that again, knowing that there's two bloodsuckers up here, shit. They're like waiting for me, you know? I mean, at this point, the marked one's like a zone celebrity. There they are. Help a bro out! Oh my god! They get him? Nice. Nicely done. They did, in fact, help a bro out. And I tell you what, I forgot to actually officially join Freedom. So let me go do that real quick. I want to officially join. Because then I think I can access the super cool. Uh, store maybe? I'm gonna run into that every time. Yeah, let's uh, let's officially join up with Freedom and see if I get access to another store, shall we?
All right, so I gotta go upstairs to officially join Freedom. I know I keep saying like, yeah, we're going to Pripyat, then I keep finding reasons not to go. I'm not postponing. Well, I am a little bit, because I think I need to take a break from poor Pripyat and stuff myself with food. Then we'll do it. Um, I want to discuss something with you. I want to... Oh, wait. I want to get out of... So it automatically joined me to Freedom. Okay. Does that mean I can use this store or no? I guess I'm not considered a leader, Happy right? Egg. Freedom leaders only. Alright, whatever. Because I think I'm literally out of stuff I can do if I can't really move through the bar, you know? Ugh. I think it's time to uh, head to Old Pripyat. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to here and then probably take a break. Slam some food. Then we'll get going. See what kind of horrors they're uh, dealing with up here now. You guys gotta buy some hollow points, man. That's all I can say. I hate killing fleshes because they're so adorable though, you know? I think we'll take a little break here, not too long, and then we'll move through Red Forest and hopefully into Pripyat. Look, even my character is starving, shit. That guru says 420. Yeah, that's pretty good timing, right? Alright, let's take a short little break here. Let's take care of ourselves some, man. My fucking arthritis is acting up. I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna grab a little bit of food here, so I'm not trying to stalk on an empty stomach. Um, stretch out. Get a little fresh air, you know, and then get back at it. I recommend you do something the same. Sitting down for super long periods is, is bad times. And then we'll meet up back here on the Infinite Couch at the O Show. Play some more Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. Master difficulty with Stalker complete. Big ups to you guys for hanging out. We'll get back at it in just a bit.
What's good? I appreciate your patience, man. I had to grab some food real quick. I was fucking starving. Should be good for a little while now, though. It is the O Show. We're about to head into some scary fucking shit in this uh, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl playthrough. Hope you guys are having a good Tuesday. Mine's not too bad. Uh, I'm hoping that Kentucky beats Kansas later. That'll make it a lot better. Um, but my day's been pretty so-so. Look at that dog dragging the flesh corpse away. How adorable is that? But I hope you're having a lovely day. I can't really complain on my end, just, you know, minor annoyances. Nothing too heavy. What's up, Professor Ignatius? How's it going, man? <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody, to the Infinite Couch, man. We got started a bit early today on the Osho, normally live by 5, but A, I wanted to start early to get some good stalker in, and B, I might end early to go watch this basketball game. Conservative cat says I'm here. Okay. Now we can get started guys. Conservative is here. <clears throat> Friend or foe looks like monolith to me. Yeah. Bad guys. Alright. Look at the fight our way through. That's fine. What what's what you gotta do from time to time? That's pretty cheeky. Where's the 96 other monolith in the area? Yeah, like that one. I don't remember monolith talking to each other. What the fuck? The monolith just do creepy cult shit around the fire? Do you see this dude? Ah, uh, his head spin gave it away. For fuck's sake. Nah. <laughs> that little hop was really worth it all. <coughs> you sneaky. Fucking monolith, dude. Yeah. 
most obnoxious faction in the zone by far. Nobody likes Monolith, okay? <clears throat> Is that all these little bastards? I hope so. We're going with yes. That is all the little bastards. That little grenade hop was really cute. I liked it. <coughs> the rest, I hated it. If I could have just headshotted that dude that was spinning his head around, it'd been perfect. But that was some creepy ambient shit to see them doing like their little cult activities by the fire. That was fucked. Ah, just another day in the zone, you know? Chillin'. Killin'. <clears throat> so, I, I, earlier, like, several factions were running through here. But, uh, I think it's just gonna be Monolith again now. It is quieter now that we've turned off the Brain Scorcher. That is true. Got those AS Val. You know, I think I'm gonna start collecting this ammo. It's for the uh, VSS, right? Won't this fire... Isn't, isn't this the ammo that the Ventores uses right here? Right? Can someone confirm for me real quick? If that's uh, the proper ammo for the VSS Ventoris. Medithian says it is. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to start collecting that. Because I want to stick some in my uh, stash so I can fuck around with the VSS at some point. And I think, I don't know if this is true, but I think if you sell an ammo type to a trader, they'll start carrying it. I don't know if I'm just high. But, uh, I think that's the truth, because I've sold them, uh, <coughs> the 7.62, and now he carries it. Did the dogs beat the monolith just now? Shh, no, we're cool puppies. You don't gotta... I'm just curious if you guys just whipped up on the monolith, is what I'm saying. That's hype. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Do not force me to do it. Damn, you a resilient puppy, baby. That's all I can say. Resilient puppy. Fucking dogs, man. <clears throat> can we do this? If I can pull one at a time, then this is doable. I can, like, pull one. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on, little pupperstein. Ooh. Come on. <clears throat> Puppies. Let's go. You. You. No, I can't get like the slices. There we go. There we go. There's one. Come on. So you gotta kinda look down at him. Like that. Ooh, ooh. No, no, bad puppies. Don't see your little puppy spin move, it's too cute. <laughs> I reckon I could just run past him. 
I don't want to kill you, puppies. Don't make me do it, and we're cool. Just leave me alone. No, 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 no. Just leave me alone, and we're good. Yeah, they left me alone. Good puppies. <laughs> it's like I told them. Just leave me alone and we're good. <clears throat> I had to knife a couple puppies just to see what it would be like. You know? I reckon we have some bad guys up ahead. My bad guy sense is going off. We got another pack of dogs over here. Really? Piss off. Piss off then. No monolith over here, right? <coughs> well, that's good. Yeah, it's done. All right, cool. <laughs> I want to look around for like you know blood suckers or something. Real quick. Uh, I think we're chilling. All right, cool. That was easy enough. I remember reading a post somewhere that most of the strats in soccer boil down to run. Just run. Run away from the mutants and other deadly things. <clears throat> You'll be a lot happier in the long run. I agree. Completely. Have you guys, uh, chilling on the infinite couch, been digging the Stalker playthrough? How many of you guys have actually played Stalker yourself? I remember when Cybershell was in here, he was talking about how he really likes the game, but he's never sat down and played it himself. He just loves to watch it and, like, read about it and shit. Low Pro says the runaway strat works in real life too. He was surprised by a pop quiz and he just ran away. Man, you could just pretend that you had like diarrhea, you know? So you legitimately could just run. It does work IRL. Uh oh. Who is having a showdown today? Friendlies. Ah. I think that's the shit that the VSS uses, is that 9mm I just picked up, right? It can use this. Yeah, they call it the Vintar, don't they? Okay. Cool. Got it. I'll save you. Here, bros. Got a nice little scope on there.
Damn, he had all the goodies. <clears throat> Nicely done, sir. It's one intelligently equipped uh, man, if I don't say so myself. Excellent. I'm liking my choice of weapons this time because it's so easy to find ammo. And this weapon's pretty cool. It's pretty fun to use. Kind of enjoy it. It's got a very unique kind of characteristic to it. <coughs> But I'm using uh, Hydra Shock Rounds in my secondary for mutant disposal. And then I'm using Armor Piercing Rounds in my primary, because it's usually used on armored dudes. Let's talk to these badasses. Честное слово, пить, курить, брошу, и даже про свободуться, плохого слова никогда не скажу. Agreed, man, totally. No, totally. <sighs> See, freedom guys are chill as hell, right? <clears throat> we trade, or are you too cool? No. Nah. You're cool. Perfect. Alright, man. We're about to head into <coughs> fucking Pripyat. Pretty hype. Pretty scared. Let's do it. Yet. Gentlemen, listen closely. We are going to push forward to the station. The town is swarming with monolith bastards and other scum, so keep your eyes open and cover your backs. That's it. Check your guns. We'll advance along the lane. Stand by 15 seconds. You must be the marked one. Barkeep spoke of you. Let's try and break through together. I know the path to the station. Go! Go! <laughs> See, they only go on my word, not yours. I'm, in, I'm truly in command here. Now, I haven't played through this in seven years, so I remember this vaguely, but not much. So when I'm like scared and stuff, I'm not pretending, guys. I'm really afraid. Oh, shit. Alright, all these guys are gonna die. I can already tell. Can already fucking tell every one of these dudes is dead. Move on, boys. But we have hope. Right? Hope. I'll try to headshot as many as I can. Oh, 
Tschö. Is he still up on the roof? Next. That was a bit of a mauling. <laughs> a bit of a mauling, he lost a man. You guys have like no shits given. This part is so fun. Nice. Minus one. Forward. Alright, I'm kinda overburdened. Better chug an energy drink. Start using grenades to Well, I mean, some of these guys might make it. Targets on the roof to the left. Nate Blap. The falling off the roof is truly beautiful. Awesome. And I'm picking up ammo for this uh, fucking Ventura's at the same time, you know? Alright, down to what? Three stalkers in this group and then myself? Nice. Mr. Woodchuck, what's the plan here? Am I the leader? Daddy loves nades. Flinging nades at him. Awesome. Yeah, I actually gotta heal up real quick. Oh wow, good toss, bro. Alright, according to the map, we've got to turn right. There's a safe underground passage. The guy naded himself. The type. <laughs> It's cool that the NPCs make mistakes from time to time. You should like nade themselves. And the way that they've coded the NPCs to act is like if you play a lot of DayZ, is eerily realistic to how people really behave. Uh, as far as like when they'll pop out of cover and how long they'll stay hidden and shit. It's pretty trippy. Conservative cat says it's a beautifully cloudy day in Chernobyl. Absolutely. Right. Get him. See, this gun's pretty hype. I kind of enjoy it. Underground car park. We must be right in the center of Pripyat. Keep quiet. Monolith's headquarters are close by. Move on. We're about to make it to the station. Mm, spooky. When are they gonna make Pripyat a fucking part of uh, Daisy? Oh shit.
All right. I think I'm about to help my guys out there. The close quarters are going to get shredded. All right, boys. Nades out. We get him. Are we still a three man squad? That's hype. Hold on, I'm looting, motherfucker. The marked one. You don't talk to me that way. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I was talking about Cybershell earlier and there he is. Like Yo Insidious Crimson, thank you for following. That does get us a little bit closer to unlocking Chivo number two, so I definitely appreciate it. Big ups. I was talking about Cybershell, how we how you uh you said you like watching this game and you like the game itself, but you haven't really played it yourself. And uh, there's a lot of games that are that way for me too, where it's really fun to watch, but I've never actually played. So I feel you, that's cool. I'm glad I can play it for you. It's about to get fucking gnarly though, so I apologize if I scream like a little girl a bunch. I gotta put this away so you'll chat me up. No, I just gotta keep moving, okay. think I'm on my own now, right? Yo, that dude is shooting me with a Gauss rifle. FYI. So you guys know. Shooting me with a fucking rail gun. That's nice. Whew. Wait, are there two? Is there a dude up on this ridge, maybe? Insidious says, I don't really have the cash nor computer power to be playing this shit, but it's still rad that I can chill on the infinite couch. Man, that's awesome. That's actually one reason I think streaming is cool, is it's a way to check out games that you normally couldn't otherwise, you know? It's like watching a movie instead of playing yourself, so happy to do it, man. I'll be scared as fuck so that you guys don't have to, right? Where is he? Yep. Whoa. Ow. Whoa. 
Where is that sniper at? Ooh, there he is. No way I got him. Yep. See if this helps. That makes it way worse. Ooh! Connected with that one. Alright, some of those hit him, right? <laughs> Is this dude still uh, still there? Hello? <laughs> Alright, I think maybe I got that guy. Conservative says the infinite couch is a lot like the monolith. How do you mean? Oh, look at him. He's doing spooky monolith shit. Did I headshot him while he was doing his little prayer? Oh, man. That's not very kind. Oh, there you are. I was like, where the fuck is this dude? He was like hiding behind the sandbags. So can you go inside those buildings and like loot the snipers of their fucking crazy high-tech weaponry? Cause that could be cool. Can I get up there? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to at least get up in this building. See what's going on. If I can get a goddamn Gauss rifle, I will. This game is so fucking suspenseful and like ambient, it's ridiculous. <laughs> How suspenseful and ambient was that shit right there? <laughs> it's like a, a loading seam or something. A <laughs> conservative says he goes into that little head head banging trance. Whenever this stream is offline. Well, I've been trying to stream more for you. Help calm you down. So you were saying that sometimes the Gauss rifles fall down. But you don't remember if you can get on the roof. So maybe let's take a look out front below where I killed him, just to see if it fell down. Ooh, he does have the ammo I'm kind of trying to build up for my Ventoras though, so. Um, it looks like there was a lip on that roof, so it probably wouldn't have fallen. Whenever I'm playing through Stalker though, I always like one I always think like man, 
Wouldn't it be cool to have these maps in uh, Daisy? Gotta make a stalker mod for Daisy standalone once they have mod support. Check that out. Look at that. Chernobyl was built in. Uh, there wasn't. Yeah, the incident was in 1986. Sorry about that static burst you probably heard. This is where I live in this little room. It's my little streaming cave. Low Pro says, you know they will, someone will. I will. I'm gonna try to make a... Uh, stalker mod, to be honest. The ambient music is on a high level right now. I believe I can get on the roof. I'll give it a go. What have we got here first off? Some type of suit. That's apparent. Military armored suit. 